have a lot of people tending the animals, as it's probably going to be pretty important. We still have a pay. Quinn, also a rancher, of course. Dude, we have so many dupes. Oh, this guy got the doctor skill accidentally. Why do I have so many dupes, dude? <laughs> I'm regretting, man, not doing job suitability yet. I regret not actually have that done. You hate to see that kind of thing happen, boys. You really do. Not having job suitability done, man. This is gonna be a. This is gonna be a weird time. We have we have twenty ranchers. Ranching is going to be not bad. All right, let's go. Yeah, we're going for over 100. We're going to be going for over 100. So we have a meep to pass a wow. There is a meep, 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 meep. Actually, it was better going at it this way because it was alphabetical order. So it's going to be science meep. Oh, I can't click on him, huh? Uh, I have to do it this way. Is it you? I think it is you, right? Operating ranching. That's not him. The other meep. Where are you, Meep? Stop hiding from me. It's you? Researching. Nice. Alright, Mighty Suit, you got your win, buddy. Hey. You skipped both my dupes? Oh, it's because he already had skill points added in. He already had skill points added in. So it's like, I don't need to add anymore. So you took dupes that already leveled up. <laughs> That's basically what it is. You took dupes that are already leveled up. Apple suit doc will be a meme. It will be, man. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to have to have a 100 suit doc, man. Find meep and skills, give them the science hat, and then you can find them easily on the next screen. That's true, too. That's true, too. I should have did that. Real guitar? That's a good. That's a good thing. I gotta remember that for next time. Alright, so with that, we're still trimming out more of the map, because we need to. Do I want to keep this as a ladder going up? That's a good question. This comes down, this comes down. This is a platform that basically encompasses everybody. We need the wires to come down here. I guess we can do this, and then I need to basically mine this out, which should be fine. I might want to keep this as a short ladder. You know what? Temporarily, we'll have it as a ladder just to move up. And then... Alright, so we are trying to reproduce and add eggs over here. We're going to get another one soon. It's going to help out with the food. Oh! Oh, man. I have to go through the priorities now. I have like 60 dupes that have no priorities assigned. No, dude. This is not the business. I'm just going to leave them like this, man. I'm just going to turn the cooks on. <laughs> I'm just going to turn the cooks on. Man. That's 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 going to be the strats. We need people cooking and we need people ranching. 
Yeah, I think with five skill and up, we should just turn everyone on with that. Devin. All right, now same thing for ranching. This is seven. Yeah, we'll turn that on. Four, he just started. Sure. This guy as well. So we have more ranchers now. That's going to mean every animal is going to get brushed. Damn, three ranchers in a row. We have a lot of ranchers and cooks. You tend to the animals and then you cook them at the same time. That's so messed up. <laughs> That's so messed up, man. You treat the animals, man. You brush them, you care for them, and then you're also cooking them, too. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Alright, so with that, we need to mine this. We need to mine that. I theoretically want to do an every other design here. So that we could build the bottom tiles to get it started. And then I need to extend out the power cable. So this goes into here. And then this is probably going to be on a separate line. I want to keep it on the same line though. Hi there. How many dupes do you have already? I have about 78. Not a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's not a lot of dupes. It's only a little bit. I see. That's going to be a problem. Oh, I could attach this to the... Oh, yeah. That's true. This could be a separate wire. I don't need this then. Okay, so one of the things I do want in this is the arcade cabinets, which is a 1.2 watts. So, oh, I have gold. Oh, increase that core as well. Let's go. So we're going to do a triple arcade setup. And it's also going to attach to some minor uh, power consumers so that we could kind of be a little bit efficient. So I think one of them that makes sense is having this right here. Connect to here. And then have this come in from a new line. I don't know where I want to pull it from, though. But I would connect that to there. These want to connect to minor consumers as well. I still need to do a little bit of stuff here, but I don't think I need this anymore, right? Let's get rid of the oxygen diffuser. And then... Let's move these power consumers onto like here, or maybe these onto there. So this is the power gen. I'm basically going to replace the aqua tuner here with another line. And then this arcade cabinet, it's probably going to connect to the bottom. Makes a lot of sense. The only problem is, is that I would want this power line going up top. No, I kind of have to pull it down, right? Either way, I think it's going to be fine. So this is going to get relocated so the other power wires do its own thing. This is going to have how many watts on it? 860 plus 730. We can actually put more consumers on that. Same with this line. Oh, there's this line. And then there's that line. We could combine both of these, and that's exactly 2,000. There's no way that's a coincidence, right? <laughs> There's no way that's a coincidence. That this line and this line is exactly 2,000. Alright, so I can't make the jump anymore. I need to jump down then mine that out. Alright, this is good now. We were able to build out the tiles. So from here, we just take the ladder. So here, 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 here. Uh, tile spacing is here. And then I do need to build... Oops. Plastic ladder going down. We could jump down to mine this now. So we could mine all this. 
get down to the ladder. Alright, so it looks like we're going to go up to three, at the very least. I might actually convert more of these lines into the arcade cabinet setups that I want to have. Because it's looking like we have to do this. It's looking like we have to do that every time. So I would, I would want to reroute some of my power lines. Which is fine. I wouldn't mind doing that. Oh, what's spilled? Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Spillage again. The two legit city special. Always spilling water, man. Alright, that's fine. Let's do another trim right there. And we need to potentially mine out that setup as well. This is also going to be a replacement. New printables. KCAL is kind of okay. I don't want to grab it yet. We're just going to grab a Drecklet and take him out. Mess him up, boys. Wait, no, that's capture. Mess him up, boys. Meets back on the menu. Auto save lag. And we're good. Okay, so most likely this is going to be a line as well. But it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, I think this is going to be worthwhile to do. So we're going to replace this. We're not researching right now, so it shouldn't matter. We're going to remove the battery power wheel right there. This power line should connect to the bottom right here. So we'll have this come straight down. So it's going to look a little bit odd. And then we're going to basically attach to here. We'll keep the science right here as well. And attach to the bottom line once we're ready. I wanted some other things here. Jukebox. Oh, I don't have gold for that. Feels bad. Oh, we can use copper. Alright, this line is going to be a little bit off. Because it's going to be coming off of a bridge. And then this comes out from the right. Alright. So we have group of power consumers. It's not too bad. So potentially this goes like that. That connects into there. This potentially gets removed. And then that goes into the left. Uh, so I would remove these four, right? This goes into the left like that. So same thing here. This goes into here. Which means this goes in like that. Yeah. And then this line goes into here that goes into that. I think that's somewhat good for now. All right, so all we have to do is also connect the power at the bottom. Oh man, so much power consumers. How do you cut the wires like that? I'm using a mod called pliers. And this allows me to cut the wires when I want to. Also allows me to cut oxygen lines like that. Now, without the mod, if you're just playing base game, you could always do this. Just connect the uh, pre-built tiles next to each other. If they're not connected, you could just manually drag that and connect it. That's in the base game. But cutting the wires is different. That's a mod. So theoretically, I want to mine this out. And then I might want to move the rusty oxidizer soon. I need to burn through the rust so I get more iron. But I got to use the space right now. I might want to use this as well to go up top. Uh, go up top. 
Oh man. So looking at the distribution, that's 1860 in its own lines. Looking not bad. So it's like that, like that, like that, like that. We deconstruct this, these, and those. Also these. And then we do remove this for this connection, which is not going to be too bad. I don't know if I want to put the suit line on this or the Dreco line. They're both actually separate. Dreco line's not bad, though, because it's being powered by a hamster wheel. And then there's a top line here that goes into the Aqua Tuner that I need to connect from here. Oh, this line could be on the suit line. And then I connect the Dreco line to that. Yeah, okay. So I'll keep this. Uh, the only difference is we're going to disconnect that and deconstruct this. And then we'll have this design like that. Connect here. And then that'll be a split. This gets removed. This goes all the way up. That goes into here. And then I guess we could do this design just to have it. And then we could remove the other conductive wire. Nice. Hey Vlock, what's good? I see you over there. How are you? Hope you're having a good days today. Hope you're having a good Tuesdays. Alright, so now that we have two chefs now constantly cooking. Oh, there's one thing I don't have over here. Ceiling light. That's going to be amazing. <laughs> Increases cook speed. We actually need that drastically right now. All right, so this is spilled. That's fine. Ethanol in the pockets. Uh, more water, though. More water, more moppage. More gas is not flowing. That spilling out of there becomes ice. That's cool. All right, so now we just got to reroute the power into here. So... This power line needs to be removed, I think. The small conductive line. I could move these buildings so it's not too bad. And then I could move this to feed from something else. I'm actually going to let the uh, salt water accumulate. I mean, the, uh, the polluted water accumulate. Yeah. So we're going to remove all the power wires from here. Just to make it clean. Uh, we're not going to be pumping there anymore. This rusty oxidizer is going to be compromised. So we're going to move this or just relocate it. Oxygen should be okay without me doing that. Maybe we move it deeper in. And then it's going to be uh, how we take care of that. So we got to remove the pipeline here. Power here is removed. Uh, basically, I could just deconstruct everything here, right? Set for the airflow tiles. Automation, all that has to go. All right, let the dupes work. I have such a large force of manpower that it shouldn't be a problem. Other things we will want is tiles here, tiles here, and tiles here. Because we have to build through it, so I might as well start that up. Oh, look at that spillage. Mixed liquids. Let's go. And this is potentially going to freeze. All right. So with that, we could probably set this up now. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's two tiles in. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and then we have six. Inside to doors. Has the feed in from here. So how are we going to do this? <laughs> That's a lot of power wires, man. I'm probably going to have to pull this one. So I will make the bridge now. Make the connection. All right, so this is going to be the bottom most, most likely. Oh, 
Oh, crack. Auto save lag. We'll wait for that to go. We might not have enough space. Uh, all right, so I'll cancel that and we'll do something weird here. We are going to put a bridge like that. Have this come in like that. Cancel that. Have this come in like this. And then we have to have this set up like so. And then these two. Feels bad. Can I relocate some of the ones here and use this for that? Oh man, we have so many wires. And then this last one is not active yet, I don't think. So this comes down to here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my god, what a nightmare. So, this is the bottom most. So this is going to be the one above it. This is going to be the one above that. And then above that. And then above that. And then above that. And this connects. Dude, this is a long power strip. Holy crap. Alright, in order to reach this... I am probably going to need more mule wood, so we're just going to preemptively build another line. And then we'll just let them build. There's a lot of mopping we got to do. The last line is doesn't have to be connected yet because it's not actually connected to anything on this side. Well, actually it will be, so I do need that, huh? So, looks like we have to do some jank shenanigans here. Looks like we have to trim this a little bit. And then this is going to be coming out this way. Make that connection, which should be good. I am happy I have this much lead, man. <laughs> I don't need to build a lot of conductive metals. Refined metals. It's all going to work. Worst part about this is the cleanup. There's a lot of resources, man. We just got to mop. Alright, upside is, is that there's no more heat source there. So, let's try mopping up all the liquids here that we can. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're not gonna die, right? Oxygen right here, there's a lot. Chillin' chillin'. Oh, you have a full bladder? Oh, you're not gonna make it. Are they gonna make it? Are you going to make it to the bathrooms? <laughs> I hope they do, man. I hope they do. Alright, so we just have to wait for the dupes to build all the wires. It's almost ready. We need to have the uh, rec group started. And then there's a little bit of uh, sweeping here we got to do. I gotta pump up this ethanol now next. Sweep that, sweep that. Alright, so... I want this to be connected first. Looks like we're missing a floor. I'll put that there for now. Because we probably do want this to be a floor like that. Gotta wait for the dupes. Unpermitted food. Oh, man. Just not enough food for the dupes right now. We got some omelets we're gonna want to make. I gotta make some uh, seafood right here as well. It's not bad. Gotta make sure we keep up with the demands. So with the light, we cook faster. The only problem is, is that... Uh, 
I can't pick up the food and have it on multiple kitchens. I might have to redesign the food storage, man. Oh, God. How many tons of dirt do you use per cycle? I actually generate dirt. I have a large arbitrary farm here that are having pips eat the branches and poop out dirt. I'm also composting any polluted dirt I'm generating. And I used to be positive, but ever since I started feeding this guy, I went down 50 tons. <laughs> I've been feeding this guy like actively. He's, he's eating all the dirt. I went from 500 tons to 700 tons, and then I started feeding the shovel, and I went from 700 to 650. So as long as he's not eating, we're gonna be okay on dirt. But yeah, I'm trying to increase the number of shovels so that I uh, keep up with the food demands. That's kind of what I need to do right now. That makes sense. I was wondering how you're gonna feed at 78 dupes. Yeah, man, it'd be like that sometimes. Gotta feed dupes. Oh, this guy just picked up the food from the kitchen straight up. All right, I think right now we're always gonna have meal lice to be cooking, so it should be fine. Oh man, this is almost done. All right, so I could mine this out now. Wait, this one really fat shovel? Oh, where's he at? Is one of the shovels fatter than the other ones? Is there a really fat shovel? Dig up the surface and feed them regolith. That's renewable. It is, but it's hot. It's around 400 degrees, 300 degrees. And I don't want to cook my plants that are right next to his, uh, you know, his base. We're going to have uh, fungal spores here. Pepper bread could be a way too, but a bit messy. I am going to be making pepper bread eventually. But we do have backup emergency food in frost buns. Where are my frost buns? Right here. So if I click on this, bam, 2100 grains of sleet weeds. I can make a lot of cake cows with that. But uh, that's the emergency food in case all hell breaks loose and I run out of mule lice. I might have to start just feeding them lettuce, dude. Straight up. They have to eat salads, fam. Alright, so we want to mine this out. Make the jump. Those shovels too. Yep, yep. Alright, so the power. Like that. Like that. That's a lot of power. Dude, that's a lot, man. It's, it's not even a million K cows. That's the worst part. You're going to have to start allowing permission. Who can go where? Dude, I might. I might. I'm not doing that right now, but I probably should. I have so much labor, dude. It's it's pretty insane. <laughs> the, amount of, the amount of manpower I, sh I just have. It's pretty insane. Alright, we got to build that wire right there. That's true, it's enough for something. That's 10 cycles of food. <laughs> That's so sad to think about. That's 10 cycles of food. 10 cycles of food, dude. That's not a lot. Someone's dying. Mind this tile. Get out of there. Oh, climb up and you're free. Oh my god, they almost died. All these dupes trapping themselves. All right, so the power wires are almost all connected, except for the last one. Which means, except for this one, I could do a little bit of surgery. So I could cut this now. This goes here, 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 here. We cut the power line here. So you don't have to run anymore. Same thing here. Uh, we'll cut this as well. Then we have here. And then we need to cut this. Uh, I need to cut that so that we can connect that. And then we connect this. This is another disconnect. Okay, and then that's all connected on that side. We have to have this connected. 
And then we have these two going here, but then this is disconnected here. This goes along to there. This one will stay off. No, it's going to be powered from the hydrogen. Like, uh, from right here. Instead of having the aqua tuner be powered by that. This line is going to be not replaced yet. I should have that on a separate line, though. So this is actually probably feasible. Uh, oh, I can't do that. I need to replace this line temporarily. So we'll have this connected still. And have that separate. This is oxygen in the room. Yeah, I'll have to replace that in order to get the power here. So we could do that. We'll leave that disconnected. Oh no, we have to leave that connected. So we have to cancel that, which is fine. We'll leave that one for now. Okay, so I need to deconstruct this. That. That. And this. And I think everything is good. Yes! We need we need decor items. Okay, that's fine. The rec room is gonna be here, boys. We got the rec room. Alright, so we're gonna need some paintings. Oh, are you serious? I can't fit these are huge they're three by five welcome back poetic artists they're huge i actually can't even put paintings behind them what the hell is this oh my god uh i can't even put little statues all right i am going to have to expand out this room in particular like this and then we'll leave the doors open and we have to do this so that we could actually run uh, statues on the side to make it in a rec room. <laughs> oh, man. Can I put paintings here? Dude, I can only put paintings at the top. That's so jank. Wait, copper has uh, increased that core. I'll take that. Golden tiles comes to play. Gotta have golden tiles, man. So this is basically just crown molding then, right? That's all we could do here? That's so gross. <laughs> just crown molding. It's statues right here. And then we will have granite statues. So face the right, face the left. All right. We gotta make this look nice, man. Gotta make it look nice. Yeah, not for decor. We need it for the rec room requirement. Feels bad, man. Alright, so everything here is working. This last one isn't connected yet, which is fine. We just need to build that. So, 2010? I don't think we're gonna have everything run at the same time. 1200, 1200, 1200, 1920. So these lines right here at 1200, we could probably add some more power to it to some other consumers. As of right now, though, we can't really do that yet. Uh, it doesn't, I mean, it, it does, but it's a little bit weird with carpet tiles because you do get decor. But you also get a modifier called uh, Tickle Toes. Tickle Toes is a stress modifier. So that's only beneficial. Oh, uh, look at everyone, man. They're all hanging out in the rec room right now. Everyone's just hanging out, man. All right, so we got to basically open these doors. Because rec room access is going to be open for everybody. We do need to remove the doors. Dude, it's lagging. I'm clicking on the doors on 1x speed and it is slow. It might be time to start killing off all the... Uh, all the lag generators. 
Is it time to kill the shine bugs, man? It might be time to start shine bug hunting. It might be time to start shine bug hunting. Oh, I don't want to kill the dupes, man. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Move them to the kitchen. Hmm, that could be a that could be a play as well. Do the early shine bugs eat any food? The early variants. Gristle berries, bristle berries, that's fine. Okay. We don't actually grow though, so it should be okay. Shine book party. Thousand gravestone challenge? Hell no. What's going on, 380? I hope you're doing well. Hmm, so I don't want to ranch the shine bugs, even though I do. I, more often than not, I just want to reduce the lag. So I think we have to kill them, dude. I hate to say it, I think we have to kill them. We have to take them out, man. All the flyers in this game, they, they lag too much. You can since the second stove doesn't get light. He does! Look at that! Lit workspace, baby! We got it on the very edge. It's on the center tile, and we got it. <laughs> Always lucky, man. I'm barely within range. That's kind of crazy. Okay, so... First of all, these guys gotta die. Feels bad. Can't, can't you trap them on one tile to reduce lag? They still lag, though, even if on their one tile. So if you want to reduce the lag, you kind of have to kill them. They still generate lag because they're a entity that they're... Uh, you're simulating them going up in age, heat transfer on the critter. They're also simulating light when they're moving. So I have to take them out. Realistically, I have to take them out. We gotta attack them, boys. Feels bad. This is the this is the reduced lag, so this is for the greater good. Not because we want to, but because we have to. Alright, this dropped from 19 to 4, so I'm assuming that's a good thing. Constantly checking is new ways to escape. Yep. That's another thing they're going to be doing. Got to do it for the greater good. Yep, yep. Hate to do it, man. We have to kill all the wild critters. All the morbs. All those guys causing problems. Alright, so we got to kill as many as we can to reduce the lag. Same goes with the pokey shells. We have to wrangle them, but... I'm, I'm going to actually probably have to cut down the number of pokey shells. Because they're, they're a little bit excessive. I hate to say that. They, they cost a little bit too much. Feels bad, man. Gotta do what we gotta do. Alright, so... What else do I need to kill? <laughs> the pops in the rust biome right there. Dude, how many pokey shells do I actually have? Have you guys seen my crab shack? <laughs> Dude, man, I have a lot of pokey shells. I'm just saying. We got a lot of lime. We got a lot of lime. I don't think I've had to actually uh, crush fossil yet. I don't think I've actively had to crush Fossil. We're at 62 tons of fossil. We got an achievement? What did I get? I'm a little bit worried at this point. Art underground. Nice. Rhyme would be least laggy as there's no critters there. Oh, that makes sense. Jesus, there's 65 molts now? Oh, God. I need to crush all of that. I need to, like, just burn through the resources, realistically. 
have too many resources and I just need to burn through them. All right, let's make some more steel right here before we exchange out the water. And then I think what we have a lot of is uh, coal. <laughs> I think I have a lot of coal, right? Yep, 600 tons. That's way too much. I have no need for that. I actually have no need for any of that, dude. They don't think it'd be like it is, man, but it do. Oh, I can't reach this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do that later then. Okay, so Shine Bug here needs to die. This guy is mining, that's good. I I probably do trim the amount of Poke Shells I need. Because I just have way too much lime. Dude, two ton I have a I have two tons of lime. Jesus Christ, I don't think I can actually run out. That carbon dioxide's still not going away. I know man, it's so rude. Like, can't you just fall down, man? The seal too right there. It's like there's an invisible wall right here. Alright, so we did mine this out. We do need to trim this. One, two, three, four. Auto save lag. Don't touch anything. But the oil did fall down. So we were able to have some of the oil go away, which is good. We need to do the same thing here. One, two, three, four. We need to trim this out. And then we need to trim this out as well. Oil here. I also want some of the oil from the right to spill out. Alright, alright. Gotta clear out the space around that. Hey, Xenosign coming in with the two months. Thanks so much for the two months of support. I see you over there. Welcome to the, welcome back to the city. Enjoy the emotes, D20 dice, and free viewing. Don't forget that legit sub badge. But thank you so much for the support. I see you over there, Xenosign. Appreciate it, man. Thank you for supporting me and the Mamba. They say if you look at the Mamba closely. The Mamba stares back. Ooh, I have 700 tons of sand. That's actually pretty good. I'm a little bit low on my KCAL generation, so I think we'll stop on taking dupes for right now. You got it. Always appreciate your help with the stuff. Yo, man, anytime. Anytime. I'll be happy to help, man. Yeah, I'm taking the sand because I can't take dupes anymore. I just don't have the food generation to kind of support it. I'm actually thinking about redoing my food storage right here. I'm actually actively thinking about that. Because I think I could relocate the food storage so that we have four grills going on. If that makes sense. Because one of the problems is, is that I'm sweeping one side. If I had this in the middle and I had grills on both sides, I'd be able to actually do a lot more. See, the problem is, is that it's hard for me to separate the food. That's the big problem. Having a second kitchen is probably what I need, though, realistically. Don't forget that legit sub badge. Y'all know what it is? Checked around my crabs. Sub around 350 big and small molt so far. Damn, that's a lot. I barely had, like, 60. <laughs> Your bottleneck is dupe labor, right? No, 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 no. Bottleneck? No, 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 no. My bottleneck is um, not enough grills going on. That's my bottleneck. I basically have uh, not enough building that allows us to process the food into the second stage. So I want to generate calories, right? From 3,200 to 4,000. Wait. Oh, no, we have meat here. We just need the cooks to actually start cooking. Feels bad, man. They're on downtime or something. But yeah, I need to get more grills rolling. I could try to redo it. 
which is actually kind of feasible. I just have to have a buffer, if that makes sense. Because I don't want to move the food and then I have to wait like five cycles to be able to start cooking again. So I want to create a calorie buffer first. So I might have to do some weird shenanigans. I might have to... No, that's weird. I'm thinking what we could do is move the kitchen over to here temporarily so that we could renovate this side. That's kind of what we want. We want to be able to move the food storage and the food. And it wouldn't be too bad because all I need is a vacuum. Man, this is tough. Love it when you say that. Hey. Man, that's tough. Because I ideally, I would want to move this so we have this design mirrored on this side. And then that's going to allow this to be the food storage in the middle. And then we have grills on the left side and the right side. That's what I'm trying to do. That would be perfect. And then we just set up two sweepers here, two sweepers here. So they could do a refill setup into that and then a loader on the back, go into the here, into here. Oh, what? Made a mess. Yo, all of you guys are stuck. And no one said a single thing about being trapped. Yep, they're all stuck. <laughs> oh, my dupes. Come on, man. They peed their pants so they could start breathing. Another person is peeing their pants. Feels bad. I hear you, Mamba. The Mambas is here. Oh, that's so gross. Everyone got stuck, so it wasn't an actual an issue. Trapped is not reliable as for me. Yeah, man, that was not reliable at all. It was pretty reliable, though. I won't say that. Until recently. Man, that's such a bad issue. Uh... So I think what we will have to do is I don't want to do it though that's the problem I don't want to do it so no one's working no, no, no they are they are if multiple stuck you don't get the message oh like me just right now okay that makes sense so what I think we should do is we could remove one of the grills so that we could start moving the design over and kind of like plan out how everything is going to look like. Once we actually plan that out, we could move the storage so that it still moves properly and runs. And then once we get that done, we could actually get a double grill set up. It would actually be four grills or three grills. And then two gas ranges. So we could start making double refinement. Because double refinement is going to give us more... Uh, more cake cows that way. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. We do double refinement like that. Alright, so... I think we'll have to save that for next stream. The food situation. Uh, right now, let's look at the transformers. Yeah, this one's going to be replaced. So we're going to do this. We're going to have to deconstruct the wheel. Pause. Let's actually connect the power wires here to here, here to here, here to here. This is fully connected. Nice. Quad grill. Yeah, man. Or the triple low ski. So we're going to go with that. And then we're going to trim this wire right there. That's going to be that transformer. This one still feeds into that. So I need another line for that. And I'll be ready. Because then I'd be able to fully remove myself from there. Well, this one, it's probably we're going to have a hamster wheel for that. I will get that ready. The double wheel setup. Straight in like that. And then we just have to replace this consumer, which is the aqua tuner that also connects to the suits. So that has to come in from the bottom somehow. I also need to get a double line going up top. Oh, man, that's so much power. Gonna have, like, the entire side of the map as beds. I actually already do. 
<laughs> we have we have some beds right here. I'm gonna add some showers in soon, and then probably add some more beds, and then we're gonna have more beds on the right. <laughs> yeah, man, we got we got the whole map filled with beds, dude. The large great hall for 120 dupes. We have we have a good amount. It's just not complete yet. There's a couple things we still need to do. I might add in another set of bathrooms. That's the crazy thing. I might add in another set of bathrooms. That corner of Transformers looks like traces of PCB. Yo, man, I see you over there. You gotta have it, man, with the wiring. Alright, so can I split some of the things up right here? I kind of want to. Oh my god, Slayer, that's a nightmare. Not only that, just the plumbing. <laughs> Do the plumbing for that, dude, would be insane. Do you think 100 dupes is too many for the spaced out clusters with small asteroids? Yeah, 100 is way too much. Going for 100 dupes on your original spaced out asteroid, you would 100% have to have multiple bases. But I think the game lags too much on spaced out. Because you do simulate multiple maps, so once you get to the Temporal Tear, and you have all the biomes kind of just explored. And of course you have to land on the planetoids to win, right? You get a lot of simulation lag because of that. I found that to be pretty laggy in the gameplays. But that's just me. It would be harder than 50 dudes at once, potentially. Because the thing is, is that... Um, the 100 dupes, you just, yeah, you don't have space. You're going to be breathing all the oxygen. And even if you fit everyone in, you're not going to have space for builds and designs. Because you could theoretically make, because you're going to have the uh, ladder bed. So you could actually make one room with 16 dupes in it. So you're going to jam everyone in, right? Because if you're doing 100 dupes, you have the ladder bed. So that's a little bit more efficient. So it means that you would have to live in, you know, not in good circumstances. You don't get the comfy beds. You get to sleep on ladder beds. You have to have everyone all packed in together. But you would have everything you want to build immediately built because you wouldn't have long commutes. <laughs> everything would be so nearby, man. It'd be insane. Okay, so right now I need to reroute two power lines. One for the hydrogen right here and one for the aqua tuner up top. I do want to route these two. We have three lines here that we could specifically reroute. I might actually pull it from here. We'll have to see though, because we do have some open ones. And then if I could, I would want to use the small power line for a couple things here instead. Hi, can I ask a question? Go ahead. I'd be happy to answer it, man. What's going on, Juba? Juba Nom Nom, Juba Nom Nom. Welcome on in. Let me know what the question is. I actually just realized something. I could replace one of these conductive wires with a small wire. And that actually benefits me a lot. Because then I get to use the small transformers and then convert these two to the top. I think I'm going to do that. Can you show your storage bins or fridge maybe? Ah, my storage bins is here. Do you see the storage bins? How many dragons are needed for 100 dupes? Uh, theoretically, 12 electrolyzers. You could get away with 11, because with all the 88.8 uh, .8 setups that you have, you technically do round up at certain points. So it would be at probably, no, you probably still need 12. It's an overkill, but you probably want more oxygen generation than not. That way, it's like you're always ahead. So it's probably going to be 12. So you could you could do one giant spawn with 12 electrolyzers. Uh, Jubba Nom Nom. Does this help? 
<laughs> I don't use storage bins. If you look at my map, there's no storage bins anywhere. And that's because I have what's called infinite storage. So we're using dispensers. And when the dupes uh, sweep up an item, they will pick it up and drop it off at the dispenser. And it drops it on the same tile. So I drop all my items to the dispenser. You'll see that happen right now. He's going to deliver. And then it falls down. And then it goes down into there. No, not this one. After Sweet Dreams update, I cannot store industrial ingredients. Read fiber data banks and, uh, and uh, cook ingredients in the fridge too. Oh! Fridge. You're not supposed to be able to... Wait. I am not on the DLC. I am on base game. <laughs> but the fridge should not be able to actually store industrial ingredients. That has to be a bin. Your bin and you're looking for industrial ingredients right here. So I don't have data banks yet. But it should be here. Because I have my reed fiber, bomb lily, lumber, pokey shell molts. So once I discover data banks, it would go into here. But you're looking for industrial ingredients. Oh, you don't see this on your bins. Uh, are you running any mods? That's going to be the first thing I would want to ask. Do you have any mods? Do you ever have issue with the game loading the debris as a tile? I have not, actually, Xenosai. I have not had that happen to me before. Were you able to store those in the fridge? Never seen those in there. Yeah, I've never seen the industrial ingredients in the fridge. But I think uh, Jubba is having the issues in his storage bins, not being able to store the industrial ingredients. I will check the mods. A lot of the times, it's probably a mod causing the problem. As if it's out of date, it doesn't work properly. And if the mod uh, updater isn't keeping it up to date, so, you know, they may be, you know, slow, haven't updated, maybe they stopped maintaining it. A lot of issues like that that could be causing the problems. But in this case, really don't know what the issue is. But for the most part, I have in the industrial ingredients that seem to be a problem. Hope that helps. Let me know if you have any other questions. But, uh, yeah. No, the industrial thing to fridge. Cooking in fridge, I mean. So, cooking ingredient, edible, and then you have medicine. If you don't see these, it's probably because you either haven't discovered anything that goes into the category, or if you did, uh, it's probably a mod. You would actually have to unsubscribe from the mod. It is discovered. Okay, so it's probably a mod. Not only do you have to turn it off, you have to unsubscribe from it from the Steam Workshop. That's that's kind of what you need to do. And then after that, if it still has the problem, you need to right click on the game on Steam and go verify integrity of game cache. Once you do that, if you still have the problem, the only thing that might save you is reporting it to the clay devs. Because at that point, it has to be a game issue. Most of the time. But I, I, I want to say it's a mod or something else. I'm not 100% sure on why that's the case. Alright, so we could remove this rock crusher into another line. And we do have space up top, so it's not too bad. This is... How much is a rock crusher? 240. I could actually have it here. <laughs> We're actually going to move it. So Rock Crusher is going to be here. And we'll just relocate this. And then once we move that, we remove 240 watts from this line. I would then want to remove...
Oh, and then we have... No, we don't really have space here. I would want to relocate one of these so I could take the suit line from here and relocate it. That's probably be what I want to do. That's what makes the most sense. We do have a third line, which is probably how we're supposed to do it. Okay, thanks. It's really annoying to see random databanks near the geysers DTC. Yeah, I feel that. For the most part, though, yeah, I, I, I've i never encountered that problem, so I, I really don't know. I don't have a solution, so it's I don't, I don't want to tell you to do things that I don't know helps you or not, because I don't want to make you run around for no reason. But yeah, the things I suggested is probably what you would try to do. Uh, check out the mods, unsubscribe. If that doesn't work, verify integrity of game cache. If that doesn't work, uh, you're going to have to post, a, post to the forums, clay forums, tell the devs. My cook go and grab five sleep weed and cooks in again and again. Feels bad, man. It sounds like you had a corrupted patch. That's what it sounds like. But this is the first time I'm hearing of this issue. So I don't know if it's pretty prominent. There's already a thread about this. Fluon. This guy knows. He's checking it out. Fluon coming in with, with the strats, man. He already knows about the issues. How does Fluon already know? I see you over there. Alright, so we're going to reroute this. It's going to go like that. It's going to go like that. We're going to reroute some of the power lines. And then it's going to go up into that setup. Cool, cool. We have a lot of lead, so it should be fine. This is going to go into the aqua tuner, so straight up. And then this one is going to go into... Oh, it's just the aqua tuner. The other line with the hamster wheel tech, we're just going to hamster wheel for that, and then we're going to replace that eventually. Yeah. So we do that, cancel, trim this, uh, remove that, remove the transformer. Also check if it only affects one save game or every other save game or a new one. Maybe your save file is borked. Oh, that's a good one too. Start a new save file. Every, every save game with DLC. No, have you tried making a new game? So what might have happened is your old save files corrupted. Partially. So you could open it, but the values are messed up. That's that's more so what Emily is saying to check. Because if every every new colony you make has this issue, it's 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 an actual problem. <laughs> Whereas if it's only that save file and all of the saves attached to that, not that it's a lesser of an issue, but they know now that is potentially a, a save corruption thing. So that's that's more or less what you're kind of checking for. So this has too much power. That goes into there. So that's going to be on it now. Uh, there's too much Pokeshell mold on that. We're just going to take this and pull it to here. This becomes a deconstruct. We're not going to need that anymore. So the power line is going to be removed. That hydrogen gen we're going to replace. Oh, that's why we had the two lines. I'm replacing the hydrogen gen line right here. That actually means that this is incorrect. Because I am going to be deconstructing that. And then this goes up to here. Into here. Do I have to deactivate the DLC? No. You shouldn't have to. Every new game with DLC should allow you to, like, you know, go into the game. Uh, one of the things you should do is turn on sandbox mode, spawn in some databanks, spawn in a storage bin, see this, and then check to see if the storage bins have databanks as sweepable. That's basically what you're trying to do. If possible. All right, so we could kind of see how we're redoing the lines. I will need a lot of uh, new lines for the power wires. So I can get away with a 1,000 watts. Okay. So my oxygen is a little bit limited, so we'll do this a little bit at a time. 
So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Put this at the bottom. One. Okay, I could get away with just regular power wires. Okay, that's not bad. So we would do these two on a similar line. So we would just have to have the spawns kind of like deactivated. They actually wouldn't be deactivated because we're powering them from here. So they're always going to get power as long as they're connected. Okay. So let's check this out. So... First things first, we want to cut up the line so that it's safe to replace. Uh, that's all going to go in the first place because we got to cut this up. This is going to go like that. That's good. This gets replaced by going into the suits. So one, two, three. That's, uh, yeah, that's a little bit too much because this is 48960. 1040. No, 1080. A little bit too much. Maybe we have 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 with that. And then 1, 2, 3. Yeah, that actually works. And we just have to get the power wires there. So I need to keep this powered. 1, 2, 3, 4 maybe. I basically need to separate the line so everything is fine. All right, so before we do that, let's have this come down. We'll remove the bridges there. Uh, yeah, I'll have to wait for that. Have that connect. Oh, we could have that temporarily be the line at the bottom. Yeah, that works. Have the hydrogen get rerouted. Because I want the hydrogen here, and then we could cut this line. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so this connects. This is not connected yet, so we still have to wait. Dude, all the CO2 right here, man. So bad. I need this to spill out. Okay, speed this up. Have the dupes do what they need to do. We have no food right here. No, even if we do, it's getting eaten, like, immediately. I need, I need like, stronger dupes. <laughs> Every cook needs, needs a lot more skill points, man. I just need more cooks in general. Alright, so this is done. This is done. Top is done. Okay. I think we could turn it on now. So, I need to do this, that. I need to cut the line from the top, which is also this line, which allows me to do that. And then we do this, that. We have to cut this, cut that, cut this, cut that. This gets deconstructed. Uh, basically, I want to deconstruct all of this, including the bridge. That's good. And then this gets cut. This goes down, down. We have a line now. And then this is unpowered. But it's going to be connected to the top. So now this line's at 1450. Which is not bad. We don't need to pump hydrogen. So we could disconnect that. So this is at 840, 1450. We could have the oxygen on. Uh, how much more can I add into the top line? So it's probably not all of them. We will leave out one electrolyzer and one pump. So most of the spawn is operating fine. Right, this is at 1930. So we got to make this change first. And then we'll add in our power wires coming in. Alright, so I think the regular wire has to come out like this. Uh, like that. Like that. So then this becomes a wire bridge. That's 3,000 watts. Okay, cool. 
my next run is going to be meep only good luck man hope rng is in your favor because <laughs> you need to download a specific mod to roll the meep in the very start <laughs> just rolling a meep dude was what was ah, such bad luck sometimes i've done something similar oh you already have it oh nice and then are you going to run a mod for changing your sprites at dgsm mode right here when the when they print out from the pond because technically you don't have to do that right all right we remove these power wires have these connects no nah, okay good luck with that man isn't every dupe is a meepa mod oh that's a mod I, there's i was the mod i was talking about is there's a mod that allows you to basically cycle through the dupes and choose the specific one you want there's a mod that makes every dupe of me that's pretty good <laughs> that's pretty good man all right so the pipeline here is empty no more co2s feeding out which is fine All right, power-wise, we do need to make the connection. And then we have to start replacing it, right? So we'll have these be a part of one set because we're going to try to basically redo that. Wait, how come there's no power? Oh, it's coming off of one hydrogen generator. That's why. That's also not getting fed. Oh, it's not getting fed. Feels bad, man. Oh, it's because there's no there's no uh, power here. I did not think about that. I made some mistakes. All right, let's do the bottom two. Let's pump out that and then have this connect back up top. So we want to have this disconnected. All right, so this gets a little bit of hydrogen. Saw it on the workshop, never tried it. Gotcha, gotcha. The only problem with DJSM is that if you re-roll the dupe, it will default to one positive trait and a one negative trait, as opposed to being randomized like a normal printing pot. That's true. I think that's I think you could change that, right? But yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do think that's a thing. You have to kind of get lucky if you want to like make a super OP dupe. But isn't that an option where you could kind of modify that? I'm not sure. Maybe it's not. I hear you, Mamba. I'm sorry, babies. Still streaming for a little bit. I gotta fix the power, baby. I hear you, I hear you. Alright, we're gonna replace some of the uh, power setups. Alright, so this is going fine. The power wire is going there. So, let's do the bridges where we need it. So we'll do these two on a separate line. So we'll have one of them here. Uh, this one is probably going to be one, but let's think about what's going to be on it. The top one is probably going to have this on it. So 240, 240, 240, and probably that 240. And then we'll have one, two, three, four, one, two, three and a half. Yeah. Either way, I think it's going to be fine, right? So I do need to bop this line. We're going to turn off that pump. It's going to be fine. And then bridge is going to be here and then we'll have the last one here all right you can't change that however it must only have equal arguments it does not allow more than at least settings oh so if you have one dupe with triple red all the dupes are triple red <laughs> is that what you're saying xenosai if everyone is super nobody is shout outs to incredibles the movie Is that what I'm hearing, man? Actually, it should be like this. There we go. So if you have three interest, two positive, three megas, every dupe generated will be that. 
also also sometimes the starting attribute numbers might be wonky based on the added positive and negative traits. Oh, that's a thing? I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know that was a thing. I mean, it's good to know that that's a thing, but I did not know that. So one, two, three, and then we're going to grab an extra electrolyzer. So it's going to be like this, and then we have that to replace. Not bad. But yeah, exactly. At least until you reload the file with different settings. Okay, okay. I was thinking about doing the old super dupes that uh, Brothgar. Brothgar, right? Not Brothar. Brother. Yo, brother. Did feel like it would be fun. You're talking about Brothgar, right? His name is Brother. Brother. With the AR. AR probably stands for the assault rifle. All right, we gotta fix that, of course. We don't need the spawn to be running, so we could replace that with a power wire. Yeah, lol, Gar, gotcha, gotcha, man. All right, we're gonna remove that, and then we're also gonna remove this soon. I know, baby, stream's almost over. I know, I know. You know what Mom is trying to do? He's trying to look cute. He's, he's doing the good old, hey, look at me. I am on the chair next to you. He's on the chair. I have a towel for him. And he's like, don't look at me. I'm not looking at you. And then he peeks over. Yeah, I'm just leaning back, you know. You know how it is. Is he looking at me? He's checking. He's checking. I see you, babies. I see you. No, don't touch the butt. Okay, okay. We'll give you your head rubs. Just came in. I see afternoon. You should have came in during the afternoon, man. That would have been a lot better. <laughs> you could always check out the VOD, and I always have the VODs on the YouTube if you guys want to catch up from the beginning or also if, see what you missed. But uh, we'll still be going for a little bit. Don't worry. Mama just wants his attention. The kitty cats really wants his attention, man. Mamba demands treats, he really does. I have to feed the Mamba. Alright, so we have power here so that we could use the dupes. We gotta go inside to build the power wires. So gotta wait for that. I will cut the power here because I need to, right? Like that. This looks jank. We're not going to power that, so we could build a power line here. Oh, this is connected? Oh, that should not be on. Actually, it shouldn't matter. It could actually turn on. It wouldn't actually cause any problems. Have that turning on. It's fine. Yep. So we're going to replace this power line now, and then we have that connect on the side. Once the wires are all done... And then once we get that, we're going to have this connection here. Uh, this line, less than 1,000 watts. Perfect. And I also need to remove this conductive wire now. Wait. So, this is not attached, which is fine. That's almost going to be done. And then afterwards, we could redesign the natural gas box so it's smaller. And then we could always just have it pump out into the infinite storage at the bottom. So this is not going to be there anymore. We're going to have to remove this. And then we're just going to have to run this off of something else. Probably the Aqua Tuner line, to be honest. We have a lot of wattage extra that we're probably going to want to use. New printable, let me get the food. Ah, uh, Oxalite. All right, that's fine. I hear you, Mamba. I hear you. We got to get the power done, though. Get a little bit sweeping done over here as well. I know, I know. So I need the suit, so I have to build the inside first before I replace the outside line. Uh, looking at this, though, I wouldn't need suits for too much of it. Actually, I could replace it with the suits, right? 
because I could just attach the power. And since we don't pull more than 2,000, this is actually pretty safe. That's actually true. So I could do that. Make sure I disconnect that so we don't overload from the battery. And then I could just replace the wires. All right, we'll do it one at a time first. So we got to finish the bottom. Once we build that, the dupes are uh, having the lagging issues. Got to make the sweep. Nice. That's connected now. Now we got to deconstruct that and that's it. So I need to do this change. We might as well do the entire top and then we have to wrap it up with the suits at the bottom. So even if there's no uh, power, the suit checkpoint is still active. Okay, that's good. And then we can remove this. Less hamster wheels on the map. Less hydrogen generators. And then we can just have everything move on to what it needs to do. Uh, I think for the time being, we'll just burn off the power here. And then we'll just cut off the hydrogen line like this. So it will feed in, but then after it uses all the hydrogen, that's it. We could deconstruct that, and then we just go for the final sweep. Mamba's making his big demands, boys. You guys know what it is. Oh, I can't reach that. Okay, so I need to build a ladder. Right there. I actually can't reach that. I just realized that. Unreachable, I knew it. Alright, so that's going to be pretty good. We could do the initial sweep. And then we could dump water back here still with the power from the top. I probably don't need the second hamster wheel, just use one. And then I wouldn't need the wheeze wart here either anymore, so I could actually remove this. We should be able to deconstruct this now. Yes, Meemaw is doing it, sweet. Alright, alright. So we have this not being used, and that's fine for now. Because we're going to connect that as of now. So I need to replace that conductive wiring. So I do need to do this and that. And then this does not need to be connected anymore. Connect here, connect here, connect there. And power should be good. 1680 watts, sweet. So now this is gone. This is gone. We don't need this anymore. This power is that, which is fine. This is also all gone because it's no longer needed. Oh, the shovel room is clear. Ah, uh, yes, that's great. All the shovels died and moved over to the bottom ranch. Good, good. And then from here, we could actually deconstruct all of this, right? These doors, these doors. So the only thing we have to do now is replace this pump from the natural gas geyser. Outside of that, there is no power consumers anymore. Remove that. Oh, remove that. That's coming off of that. Uh, I may potentially want to keep this here to just have it become a power drain elsewhere. So that I don't have natural gas floating around while we uh, relocate everything. And I probably want to start cutting this line so that all of it goes into storage because we no longer need it. So that means this is reconnected. We're transferring the natural gas to the bottom uh, storage now. Toady, what's good? I see you over there. Holy crap. I just noticed. <laughs> Very sorry, Toady. Hope you're having a, a good Tuesdays, yo. But how are you? Hope you're doing well. You could direct these two. Dude, we are lagging though. We are lagging. Alright, so we have to make sure the pit doesn't get trapped in the doors when we build it. So that we could line everything back up again. Okay, so KKLs are going down. 
So we're burning through the mule lines and not regrowing enough. That's not a good sign. <laughs> That's not a good sign. We're actually not keeping up with the mule wood demands. So we're going to build some more mule lines. And then how else could we make some more food? I mean, I guess we could make some frost buns. That has to be it, right? All right, so we're going to make one of these turn on to make frost buns. We need some bread to be like that sometimes. Have that sweep. Okay. So that means these two are no longer needed. Nice. We could remove these two. This battery is also no longer needed. No, I did need that slightly. Uh, hmm, it is powered by the steam turbine, so we just keep the battery there. That's probably okay. And then this is powered from the aquaturner line, which should be set. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oxygen in here, cooling line in there, should be good. Alright, so the next time, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to redo the food storage so we could actually sweep from both sides. Have a larger kitchen, four cooks, instead of just two. And then we're going to be growing more mealwood. Holy crap. There we go. And then... Would I have to redo a little bit of oxygen distribution? So far, it looks very breathable, regardless of where we're at, except for the large gas cloud right here. Which probably requires me to do a little bit of, uh, maintenance. This is simulating a lot of lag, basically. So I might need to just do a straight shot down of clearing out the map. Yeah, we just need to have no regard for temperature and just start clearing out as much of the map as we can probably do want to do that soon. There's a little bit of sweeping we need to do as well. The dupes are lagging, but we want them to sweep so that they're not idle. We cracked into the ice right there. That's not too bad. Mamba's, Mamba's being a butt. He's making his Mamba demands. He knows I can't resist. I don't know what to tell Mamba. Mamba, you need to wait. Alright, so we're also landing the cool slush guys are kind of going to storage. So we no longer have cold water looping here. I actually probably have to replace everything with steel. Realistically, I think I do. I need to replace everything with steel. Because this is otherwise going to eventually overheat. This is made out of iron right now. Same thing with my pumps. So I probably do want to do that soon. This is already too hot. Sweet. Toady, don't know if I... If, uh... Don't know if you're still there. But hope you're having a good Tuesdays. Sorry for missing the message for a little bit. But I see you over there. Hope you're doing well. Mop that up, have that spill out. Uh, we're going to have to s flush out the salt water again. Oh, uh, it's probably time to do a mine here. Leave that in case, you know, people get stuck. Oh, we can mop up all the salt water. Yeah, maybe not all the salt water. It's all going to fall down anyways. Have to grab that. Have to sweep this tile. Okay, that's going to spill into here. We need to accumulate all the salt water. This guy is a tiny baby. Oh, we allow the eggs to hatch? It feels bad. He needs to die. The moment we can, we need to kill him. And then I need to mine this out from the ladder. Very feasible. We want the salt water to spill out still. Two tiles there. Two tiles there. And I need to do a trim right here. Three tile trim is actually very fair. Good, good. Gold's looking good. All the mining right here. I completely forgot about it. So we wanted the ladder like this so that we don't get stuck. And then I wanted to start trimming out more of this. So one, 
two, three, four sweets. We are technically cutting through the heat energy. 25. So the ice right here is supposed to start cooling down <laughs> the oil biome, but it's not doing a great job. So I'm thinking we need to just break apart who's about to die. Nobody? Man, you guys gotta stop scaring me like that. The oxygen actually thinned out. That's actually pretty insane. This used to be at uh, 16 kilograms per tile. But after we mined out this corridor, all the oxygen is flowing right through. Can't be mad about that, but still kind of impressive. Okay, so with that, a lot of things we could replace, but I think we're going to be fine. Do we have a suit forge? Wait, do I actually have a suit forge anywhere? Because if my suits wear out, I don't know. Oh, yeah, we do. It's right here. Okay. I was going to say, man, we better have repairs on it. Got to have the worn suits. So the dust caps, we still need to grab more seeds. That's fine. We could probably just leave that there, keep mining down, and then start with the other foods on the right side. We're going to have to do pinch of pepper nuts and water weed as the uh, things we were going to want to do. And then I'm going to have to expand out the hatch ranch for a little bit more food as well, which shouldn't be too bad. Now we need to finally seal this up. I ideally want to put the tiles there. This is because this is the proper height. But because I wanted to line it up, right? I can't, I can't cut this off short. So we're going to have to seal it up here. All of this has to float into here eventually. Upside is, is that I never have to worry about this being too hot or breaking. And we only ever just need one pump. Everything here is set. So we could potentially just seal this up and just have the pump move into this line. I probably want to redo that pipeline though. It's in a very weird spot. Very weird spot. I have to wait for this to finish pumping first, though. That, that's going to be next time as well. Shrimp fried lice. Oh, my God. Dude, they have... They have... Uh, Poke shell and mush fry. Oh, my God. No, it would have to be like donor kebabs. Because it's, it's fries, right? It would have to be like... Um, barbecue and mush fries. That would have to be it, right? You're telling me Sandy Shell fried this lice? Sometimes. When when Cthulhu said that, I immediately had flashbacks to how I met your mother. When when uh Barry, or otherwise known as uh, NPH, Neil Patrick Harris, he was like shrimp fried rice. Shrimp fried rice. And then the whole bar started chanting with them, and it was hilarious. That was after he went, America, America, and the whole bar chanted. And then when Robin said, Canada, Canada, nothing happened. <laughs> oh, man, that was a great episode. I don't know why. I immediately have flashbacks about that episode. It was great. It was mad funny. Dude, I love How I Met Your Mother. There's, there's that, that type of show. I guess it's situational comedy. It's such a great genre. When you have somewhat of a plot, but it's so thinned out that you could just watch any episode and still be okay with it because it's it's entertaining, right? Like, you, you didn't need to follow episode by episode. You could tune in at any time, and it was always a great time. That's the one thing I liked about How I Met Your Mother. It was always a good watch. Okay. A lot of CO2 right there. That's not bad. Oh, is Mamba back on the bed? Mamba's pissed. He's awake. He's just waiting for me now. Alright, guys. So I think this is going to be a great spot for me to wrap things up for the night. So, guys. Thank you guys for hanging out today. 
Thank you guys for being a part of chat. But it's going to be time for me to wrap things up for the night. So, looks like we're going to have to... We're already making frost buns. We're going to have to make an expansion to our food. And we're also going to have to make an expansion to the meal lice farm. So that we could stabilize a little bit for the cake house. And then we're probably going to want to start tapping into other things like sleet wheat farms. I'm probably going to have to do that eventually. I'll probably might even do that right beneath the uh, mushrooms. I'll have to make that work out. I'll see you over there, Fed. All right, have a good one. Thank you guys for being here, man. Thank you guys for hanging out. So next time, we're going to be uh, trying to stabilize the food. Hopefully, it's not going to be too bad. I could actually just start growing more food of other food types if I really have to. And then, uh, yeah. Going to be clearing out more of the salt water. Clearing out more of the biomes. Going to be uh, trying to do a lot more digging in the upcoming events. Going to be setting up another spawn soon from the side right here. So we could start setting up our job suitability setup. And uh, that's going to be a fun time. Good night, good night. Have a good one, TJ. We're going to wait for the autosave lag first. Because I don't want to save while the autosave happens. I want to save after it happens. Because it's big lag. All right, there we go. Let's get that save in. Based Mamba number three.